What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And I'm coming back at you with another mental health book review. So if you're new to my channel, I do a lot of mental health book reviews. I truly believe that if you struggle with any form of mental illness, you should really be educated about it. I've done a video called The Brain Mechanic, which I'll link in the info card, but the more you understand about your own brain, the more uh, you can overcome your symptoms of mental illness because you actually understand what's going on under the hood. But anyways, this book review is called I Hate You, Don't Leave Me by, hold on, forgot the author's names, there's two authors, by Hal Strauss and Gerald J. Kreisman. All right, so this book was written in 2012. It was originally written in the 1990s when they first kind of started diagnosing people with BPD and they wanted to revisit it because there's just tons and tons of new studies on this. And from everything I, I looked at and researched, this is the best book on BPD. It has the most research, studies and everything like that. Yes, this book is six years old, but borderline personality disorder is something that, I don't know, a lot of people don't wanna to touch, and I'm really glad that these authors came together and did this. So, first and foremost, I just wanna share about my experience with BPD and why I decided to pick this book up. I never heard of borderline personality disorder for I don't know, until the last year or two when I started working at a drug and alcohol treatment center. And I was fascinated by this diagnosis, understanding the personality traits, and as I started to get more clients with this diagnosis, I started to realize that most of them, most of them had some sort of traumatic childhood, whether it was physical or sexual abuse or there were children of addicts and alcoholics. And I'm like, wait a second. I'm like, this is a mental illness that makes people not want anything to do with that person, but it seems like one of the most preventable. So that really fascinated me. And the other thing is, um, I wanna make very clear, I have never been diagnosed with BPD, but something they talk about in this book is borderline tendencies, okay? A lot of us have borderline tendencies, and I had a lot of these which I've overcome. And one reason I wanted to kind of uh, read this book was to see how much or how many of these symptoms I had and what I've overcome because I feel that if I've been able to overcome these, a lot of you can too, but the more I understand about it, maybe I can relay more information to you. So that's another reason why I read this. So. Pretty much, this book was written in a way for everybody to understand. People with borderline personality disorder, like, I, I always say this, like, I make these videos so you can have a little empathy. Like, the last video I did on borderline personality disorder, if you go through the comments, just a lot of them are, these are terrible people, um, I was married to one, I dated one, you know, stay away from them, and stuff like that, and, and it, like, bums me out. like. This is a mental illness, you know what I mean? And it even talks about in the book, like this is a mental illness that even therapists and psychiatrists, like they're like, ugh, another person with borderline, they're, like they don't wanna treat them. And, and it's really sad, especially when you realize how many of these people developed this personality disorder based on their childhood. Like it was completely preventable and it's not their fault, you know what I mean? So like, this book was written very well. Um, it's a book where anybody can pick it up and have a better understanding. And if you're somebody who knows somebody with borderline, maybe it's a parent, maybe it's a family member, maybe it's a friend, or maybe you've dated one in the past, I really think you should check this book out because it explains why they do what they do, but there's a lot of information in there to help you, to help you deal with a borderline, right? And I will do more videos breaking down certain symptoms, certain situations, everything from black and white thinking to suicidal threats to um, promiscuity um, to all sorts of other things. I will do more videos on that, so make sure that you're subscribed. But it helps walk you through different situations, especially the suicidal threats. Like that's something that I deal with a lot with my clients is these kind of threats and things like that. Um, but also the black and white thinking. But I will say this, I'm a big um, mental health nerd. I'm a big neuroscience nerd. 
towards the end of the book, it gets a little bit more sciency when it starts talking about genetics, neuroscience, um, it talks about medications that might help with BPD and things like that. Like some of it towards the end might be a little difficult for some people to grasp, but like 90% of the book is for just about anybody. And I think if you are somebody who struggles with either borderline or borderline tendencies, I think this book will help you out a lot too. Um, you might get frustrated, might you get upset, like that's what happens, but it gives you a lot of truths. But I also think that it's important because this book talks about over and over and over again how curable this mental illness is. And my channel is all about giving you guys hope. Like, when I deal with people who have BPD, they, they seem hopeless, they seem like nothing's gonna help them. But this book cites many different studies, especially long-term studies, like over 10 years, and talks about how people are cured. The way they, they talk about being cured is BPD has nine primary symptoms. You have to meet five of those to be diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. Once you have less than five, so anywhere between one and four, you are technically cured, okay? So if you can work on one of these traits at a time, you are in a place where your life can become so, so much man uh, more manageable. You'll start to have better relationships, not just like intimate relationships, like boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, better relationships with your family, with your friends, and all those types of things. And like, I'm really glad I read this book because I know a lot of people struggle with either borderline personality disorder or those tendencies. And I'm really glad that now I have more knowledge so I can provide you with some more content. So like I said, I really hope you check this book out. Um, I will link to it down in the description below. And I hope you guys check it out. If you do leave comments, let me know. Um, by the way, the link in there, it's an affiliate link. And what that means is that it doesn't cost you any more money but it helps support this channel so I can make more beautiful videos like this. So if you're gonna get it, use that link, okay? It helps helps out the channel. Um, but I would also like to know your thoughts on it as well. And I again, I do hope that the comment section in here kind of chills out. Like, I, I hope there's some more empathy and understanding. Like, we need to understand, most people who are mentally ill do not want to be mentally ill. You know, that's what we need to really realize. Like, so please have some empathy. Let's have some calm conversation down in the comments below. If there are any um, topics that you personally want me to cover when it comes to borderline personality disorder, leave them down in the comments as well. Um, I already have some in mind. One of them that I think is gonna be a really awesome video is called Borderline Society. They talk about it in this book. Um, but yeah, that's a video I have planned, but I wanna do a lot on black and white thinking and all that kind of stuff. Um, but lastly, the last thing I will say is, Check out more books, read more books. I'll have a link to my entire reading list on there. And if you would like, if you would like, the next book that I'm reading right now, the book that I just started today, is from my man, Gary Vaynerchuk. It's called Crushing It. Um, and I, this is kind of like a me book, not really a you book, it's a me book. I take little breaks, I'm like, okay, cool. You know, starting up my own YouTube channel and all this other stuff. And, but anyways, when I was listening to it today, I just got, I'm like, right in the middle of the first chapter. Like, I really I really think I will do a, um, a book review on it because like, Gary Vaynerchuk has this amazing psychology that I don't think a lot of people understand and I think we can pull from it to in improve our mental health. And something that I've talked about many, many times on this channel is to quit working at a job that you hate. And Gary Vaynerchuk has this great way and this great passion of explaining to people how we live in this amazing time where you can literally do anything you want, anything that you find an interest in and figure out a way to make some extra living. And it doesn't mean that you're gonna do this full time. I don't plan on doing it full time uh, at any anytime soon, but like it helps you understand that, you know, you can work a full time job and do this for a couple hours on the side and have a lot more happiness. And for some of you, that means that you can quit the job you hate, take a different job that pays less money, and you have some other money coming in. So anyways, I'll probably do um, a book review on that, so make sure that you stay tuned. Um, but anyways, anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Click that little round subscribe button. And if you got some time, you can click or tap on one of those thumbnails right there. You can also check out my entire mental health 
Facebook uh, playlist. Um, that'll be linked somewhere around here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.